good enough to keep it close. Let's not oversell Philadelphia. Two weeks ago, they were got housed. I'll take Dallas in the points. All right, I think that's the right call. I think that's what the Sharks are, too. So this game was a two and a half before okay. the news about Tony Romo came out. Jumped up to seven and a half when, when it was clear that he wasn't going to be playing. The Sharks were all over the seven and a half. They were all over the seven. It went down to six and a half. Now, the public is steaming in on Philadelphia, right? 70% of the tickets are coming in on Philadelphia okay, That's right a now. great sign to go Dallas. So they're on, the number has moved up back up to seven. This game is the last game of the day, right? So as you know, it's the chase game in Vegas, meaning that everybody who loses during the day <laughs> is going to chase their losses with one last chance to bet on Philadelphia. This game, this number might go up a little bit more. The Sharps are going to be all over Dallas. Next game has AFC wildcard implications. Two weeks ago, I said, keep your eye on Baltimore, dark horse team in the league. But everybody's telling me Cincinnati's going to clobber them. I'm going to take Flacco on the road. I know I'm wrong. I'm going to take Flacco on the road. I, this is My heart is with Baltimore, but that... That number, that's not much of a number. If I tell you you're right, can I move up in the best friend order? Because, yeah, sure. Because the Sharps are on Baltimore here. Don't forget, while the, while the Ravens were not in that game against the Patriots, 14 of those points were scored in the final two minutes off a of fluke turnover. So it's not like the 41-7 score is really indicative of how badly they lost to the Patriots. So they're on Baltimore in this game. All right, Carolina, Atlanta. Um, listen, Carolina, like Seattle, San Francisco, was built to travel, built for road games, tough defense. I think Atlanta's toast. I'd probably take Carolina there. All right, so this is interesting. They're split on this one, and they're probably going to walk away at this at this point because they took Atlanta plus seven. The expectation is you take Atlanta at seven, right? Then, I should say split, okay? Because then the number got down to six after they took Atlanta plus seven. The number's down to five and a half, actually. They took the five and a half. It went back up to six. So they're on both sides of so the So the game. real sharps... They're playing they're, the number. They're, playing they're not the playing number. the teams. This is one of those things they play the number. And the lower the number, they like Carolina. Exactly. All right, let's go to uh, Green Bay and Chicago. Now, this is a strong play for me. I like Chicago in the three. It's going to be windy. I don't think either offense is explosive. I like the way they run the football. I'm going to take the deep dish pizza. All right, so Waddle's a little lightheaded from being bloody from his paper shot. <laughs> I think he's got you and influ he's influencing you because you guys are besties. And I'm telling you right now, I'm making the executive decision here. I'm an executive. Green Bay and the points right here. Okay? It's going to be Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers is the, be is, is the best quarterback in the league. What about Russ? Playing. I don't care about rust. He still practices. And also, when you are rusty, it doesn't matter if you're playing the Chicago Bears defense, which is the historically worst defense in the history of the Chicago Bears franchise. Okay? Now, here's some, here's some actual stats, some okay. data to back this up. This number, the Sharps will play Chicago plus three. But the other guys will say, because look, you're getting the home team as an underdog, and that's an expected... Plan for something. Expected yeah. value is you're going to get the home team to, to win, the, to cover there. But Green Bay, their offense is too good against this defense. It's really a horrible defense. Personally, I'm a Chicago guy like Waddle. I'm playing the emotional hedge. I'm going to win either way. If the Bears win, great. If the Packers win, I was right. But I think the Packers are the right side here. Oh, it just uh, got, that's, got testy. That's just...